Hey everybody, this is Joyce at Shadow by Etero with a little line yap. Here to do the October 2018 love messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces. Pisces in love. All right. So let's see. What are the love messages for the zodiac sign of Pisces? And guys, thank you so much for all the views on my last Pisces video. You guys are amazing, and I really do appreciate it. Um, please remember to like and share my videos. Subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it so very much. So please subscribe, like, and share. Thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. I appreciate you very much. Please take advantage of my October special. If the October special runs well, I will extend it to the rest of the year throughout December 31st, being the last day if October goes well with the special, which is $40 for one full reading, or you get two readings, two full readings in the month of October for $60. I have a PayPal link on my YouTube channel here and away we go Pisces let's roll with love Pisces and again I thank you guys very much I appreciate you so very much and first card out is the star card okay the star Pisces in love. We have the Page of Imps, which in traditional tarot is the Page of Wands. We have the Nine of Imps, which is the Nine of Wands. This is my Halloween tarot deck. I love the Halloween tarot. It's absolutely precious. We also have the King of Ghosts, which is the King of Cups. We have the Knight of Bats, which is the Knight of Swords. Let me move this up a little bit, make room. Messages in love, Pisces. Pisces in love. Whoa, something wants to come out. And I have the Ace of Ghosts, okay, which is the Ace of Cups. Underneath the deck, I have the Ten of Bats, okay, which is the Ten of Swords. All right. So... The star is our first card out. The star card is the card of hope, the ultimate hope. To me, it's a card of dreams coming true. But it is a very positive card. You know, to me it means wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. You know, the ultimate hope is going to happen. 
everything you've hoped for is going to come to pass. Next to it, we have the page of imps, which is the page of wands. And he's carrying passionate messages towards you. Either towards you, or you're giving the messages to someone else. Okay? But there are fiery, passionate messages here. Underneath the star, we have the nine of imps, which is the nine of wands. Fruition, attainment. Okay? The nine of wands means almost at the completion of a cycle. Which, this person has this hope for this love, passion, desire, okay, the nine of imps is saying this, all this passion and desire, you know, everything that was put into this should be coming to pass here. And underneath the nine of imps is the knight of bats, which is the knight of swords, who is char charging in quickly on his horse with communication and the sword of truth. He is very quick moving. This is a nine. So whatever the wish and the hope and the dream would be, for this person, whether it be you or the other person you're dealing with, it should come in rather quickly. This is messages. This is very, very fast forward movement. Okay? Now, you have more messages here. You know, this is truth. And I'm coming in. I'm coming in with the truth. I'm coming in with all this, you know, passion from the night of imps. This is more passion, more messages, followed by the king of cups, which is the king of ghosts. There will be an offer of love made. This person is going to come in quickly, okay? The king sits right next to the nine of imps. So, this, somebody's been hoping for something for a while, perhaps. Well, the action is about to take place because the, the offer of true love is about to be made. This king delivers passionate messages of true love. True love and abundance with the ace of ghosts, which is the ace of cups. The ten of bats is an overall energy of the reading. The ten of bats is the ten of swords. Somebody feels like they were betrayed, stabbed in the back, you know? But this is in their mind. This is not reality. But this cycle is over. I get the feeling that someone was feeling like this like something was ended, something was over. This was in their head and that had them feeling down. And of course, you know, we're down and out if it's concerning matters of the heart. And they were wistful and hopeful and wishful about the situation and there's their hope. Well, messages were sent Okay, wands, and this is what this represents, the imps are wands. This is communication. This is actual movement. 
This is passion. You know, this is taking action on something very passionately. All right? Going through a lot of shit here. A lot of burden, maybe. A lot of work was put into this, okay? Into this relationship. The offer will come in with the king of ghosts. Quickly, truthfully, most definitely soulmate love. Most definitely unconditional love. Okay, let's see what other messages we have here for Pisces. Any other messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Pisces? Any other messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Pisces? Come on, you want to come out? Come on. I have the King of Imps, which is the King of Wands. <laughs> Too many. I'll take this one. This is the page of pumpkins, which is the page of pentacles. There will be messages concerning um, perhaps security, money, foundation, a job or career. It's prosperity and abundance, though. Messages regarding some type of stability. This is the page of bats, the page of swords. So this is truthful messages, okay, coming in. Now, put that there. Also, this is a spy. He's staring at that king of imps. All right, some of you could be involved with two people or the same person is taking on not only the king of ghosts characteristics but the king of imps which is the king of wands characteristics because of the love and the passion. Or someone else is physically, sexually interested in the situation, in either you or who is representing the king. You know, I just had, I just had a thought that for some of you this might be a same-sex relationship. It is highly possible because the kings are both facing each other with passion. And that page of bats, that page of swords, is watching that king of imps and that king of ghosts. And that's the spy card. I'm not saying for all of you, but some of you, it could be a same-sex sexual relationship. Sexual that has been going on for a little while. Huh. Okay, let's see. The Six of Bats. Okay, which is the Six of Swords. So somebody is getting away from a turbulent situation, troubled waters, going into smoother waters. Right here we have the Hierophant, which to me is not only of higher learning, but to me this is a commitment, a marriage card. 
And we have the seven of imps, which is the seven of wands. Sevens or reflection assessment motives. Um, it could be someone has to defend themselves and stand their ground. Um, you know, they're almost at the end of a cycle with the seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. They had it on the right path, but they may have to stand their ground and defend their home or themselves. That spy is going to have to defend themselves. For some of you, this is a same-sex sexual relationship. For some of you, for others, because I'm seeing it in two ways. Well, and don't forget I have this hierophant. Okay. So, let me put that there. Just, just for now, okay? What do I have under the deck? I have the world. The completion of a cycle. But keep in mind, when something completes, something else begins. All right, so this will not resonate with all of you. This will not resonate with all of you, okay? I see two stories, two. On one hand, I see a same-sex sexual relationship that is being spied upon, but does come to an end. Okay? It could be same sex for both. All I'm saying is, okay, this is for whoever this is for. I do see same sex, but I don't see it being a commitment. All right? I could be wrong. Well, how about we put it like this? Some of you, there will be no commitment. It was just a sexual relationship that went on for a while and is ending. Okay? For another majority of you, there is a relationship that is full of passion and true soulmate love. That someone is moving to a long distance, moving from a long distance, or traveling to this person. There is travel over water. Yeah, this person is going to come to you quickly. Mm -hmm. And there will be a commitment. There will be a marriage. There will be a marriage. Okay? But whoever the spy is, it could be a spy in both situations. They're apparently going to get busted spying because they're going to end up having to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Somebody is on their way home to their soulmate. Somebody is going to you. They have passion and absolute love for you, Pisces. I feel like they are at a distance, but I don't think it's nothing overseas. I mean, it could be, but I don't feel like they're that far from you at all. There is a little travel. They could be state to state or something town to town. Uh, kind of travel because they are traveling over water to get to you. They have a lot of love for you and they're coming in fast, okay? Well, let's see what the love angels have to say. How y'all like my Halloween deck? Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. I love that world card. And there will be a completion with the world. Total. For some of you, you are dealing with a water sign. You know, which would be Cancer, Scorpio, or, or another Pisces. Or it could be you that I'm seeing in here. But there's some emotion in here. There's love in here. 
Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. And I'm looking. Or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be though, y'all. It doesn't have to be. It could be just with the emotions, with what's going on, they display, the person displays the characteristics of the other signs, okay? But yes, I see somebody, their sexual affair or sexual relationship has come to an end. There was a spy. Um... But their relationship has come to an end. There is another relationship that is someone is traveling towards over water quickly. And there will be a marriage commitment. There is exact, like true, perfect, beautiful love and desire, passion. The spy could be on both. I feel like the spy is truly on the sexual relationship, the one that's just that. But someone is traveling towards a committed soulmate love relationship. And I say soulmate to me and for me, in my opinion, you know, the Ace of Cups is soulmate love. Okay. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So y'all got to trust your love, you know, trust each other. Trust. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So someone is coming to be with you. And they're saying it's worth the wait. It's all part of divine timing. And if it's part of the divine to me and in my opinion, in my heart, it is the soulmate connection. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Always take good care of yourself. You know, take pride in yourself. Be good to yourself. Be respectful of yourself. And you will be more attractive to your soulmate. Flirt! Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Well, and look under the deck. This could be the one. You're al you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So, it could very easily be this marriage, this coming together... Because I do believe it will end in marriage. This could be the one. Absolutely. Love yourself first. Trust. They're worth the wait. Flirt. Because this could be the one. Pisces, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I enjoyed doing it. Please leave me comments. Comments, comments, comments. Thumbs up, guys. Give me the thumbs up. And subscribe and share. Like, subscribe, share, please, please, please. I appreciate you very, very much. I love you guys. Thank you, and I will see you soon. Bye.